Your Heavenly Father is calling your name today with deep love and a serious warning. But before anything, let us give thanks to the Almighty, the Creator of the universe, who watches over you every moment. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, His presence is always with you, protecting and guiding your path. Today, He is sending His angels to guard you, for something important is about to unfold. My beloved child, listen carefully this is your moment to turn your heart fully to me. I ask one thing from you today, pray in the morning. Seek my face, and I will show you the way. You are about to witness my hand in your life, but you must come to me in faith and prayer. God is urging you to stay close to him, for he is moving on your behalf. Watch the signs I place before you and listen closely to my voice. Stay faithful, trust my plan, and remember, I am always with you. My love never fails, and today, something divine is being revealed just for you. Child, you are my masterpiece, created for good works I have prepared for you. Do not be discouraged by setbacks, I am using them to shape you. I am the giver of strength. Lean on me when you feel weak. You're stepping into a new chapter. You will go from waiting to winning. I will protect you, guide you, and make things happen that you could never make happen alone. Child, a powerful blessing is heading your way. You have made so much progress this year. You are growing stronger mentally, physically, and spiritually every day. This consistent improvement combined with your positive attitude is about to unlock a door for you bringing your dreams closer than ever. Move with full faith knowing that every step of the way in pursuit of your dream life will be supported by the universe. Big blessings are coming your way. Your patience will soon be rewarded. You didn't jump to make emotional decisions. You sat with your emotions making calculated decisions that are in alignment with your goals. This deep patience will pay off in many ways. As a reward for your consistent daily effort, big blessings are about to enter your life. Today, child, remember that it's always important to pray. Sometimes we make the mistake of looking at praying as a chore, this can cause us to become insensitive in our prayer life, especially if our prayer life only consists of a want list. God is looking for us to tell him what's going on in our lives where we are and where we would like to be especially in our walk with him. He's also looking for us to pray for others and have faith that he's going to fulfill our requests. Be blessed and be encouraged. Trust in him at all times, you people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. The giant in front of you is always smaller than the God inside of you. Put your attention back on him and remember everything he has already done for you in the past. This is not your first giant and this will not be the first time that God has made a way for you when things get seemed impossible. You didn't make it this far by accident you made it this far by God. Remember that. Walk by faith not by fear, and face your giant with confidence. The old is clearing out in order to make room for all that you have asked for. Have faith in your abundant and happy future. Everything is coming together for you in a beautiful and miraculous way. You are connected to the endless abundance of the universe. Imagine the very best for yourself and then call on me to help make it happen. Your path ahead is clear and there are miracles on your horizon. Your God is greater and no weapon formed against you will prosper. There wouldn't be an attack if there wasn't first an anointing. What you are going through isn't breaking you it's building you. This test will become your testimony. 
If you feel like you are on the verge of a breakdown know that your breakthrough is closer than you think. He'll finish what he started. Stop stressing so much about the next chapter of your life. You have an assignment right in front of you. Remember, on some level you are right in the middle of what you used to be praying for. Crush your assignment and lean into this moment with gratitude and intentionality. Trust in the timing of everything taking place in your life. There is a higher plan unfolding. What isn't meant for you is slipping away with ease. What is meant for you is effortlessly attracted into your life. Your frequency is rising by the day. With every positive decision you make to get just a little bit better, your magnetism gains strength and your dreams move closer. All you can control is doing the best you can right now. This is the season you've been waiting for. It's going to be filled with great news, answered prayers, miracles, advancements, and abundance will flow like never before. Type 1111 to claim it, it's yours. God is saying, child, I know that you have a lot on your mind right now, it feels like your world is falling apart. Lay all of your burdens before me in prayer. I will turn around this situation in your life and bless you with the healing touch you need. You shall live and not die, I have plans for your life greater than you ever thought possible. Very soon, you will forget the hurt, the reason you cried and who caused you pain. You will finally realize that the secret of being free is not revenge, but letting things unfold in their own way and over time. After all, what matters most is not the first, but the last chapter of your life which shows how well you ran the race. So smile, forgive, believe, and love God with all your heart. Healing energy is at work in your life. Think of any situation that troubles you as being resolved and fully healed. We are with you, bringing a fair and just resolution. Release your fears and know that you are safe. Trust the transition, what feels like a loss will end up being a huge gain. Sometimes God shuts a door in order to move you forward, he knows that you won't move unless your situation forces you. Through every situation God is growing you, developing your faith, and preparing you for your next assignment. In the middle of change remember who you are, lead yourself well, express how you are feeling to a trusted friend, keep developing your gifts, and stay ready. Things can shift quickly. Everything that's meant for you is coming into your life in the most beautiful, peaceful, and effortless way. Before September ends, please take time to appreciate yourself for the small wins and the battles that you conquered. Keep going, so proud of you. I want you to stop hating yourself. You are not perfect and maybe you have been expected to be perfect all of your life and now that you failed you are conflicted on how to act. It is tough and I understand. I am here for you. I love you. Type 1 love you Jesus Lord. God is saying to you today. I hear every unspoken word, I see every unseen wound, I will mend every unbearable pain. No matter what you are going through or how distressed you've been. In your experience of suffering I'm prepared to go to any length to bring you through. Trust me. No one knows what you are going through but you. People will judge you, talk about you, point fingers, and blame you. Do what is in your heart, and what God tells you to do. Walk your own path. Trust God and love them like Jesus would. Their opinion of you is just their opinion, ask yourself, does it really matter what they think? Don't let anyone steal your God-given joy. One thing I learned about God is, He can turn anything around. Don't go by how things look now, 
God isn't finished working yet. The Lord will complete what He started in your life and bring you to a flourishing finish. Get ready, because that situation is about to end in praise. Sometimes God will isolate you before He elevates you. You look around and it seems like everything is falling apart, but God knows it's all falling into place. When it feels like you're all alone, stay faithful and stay fruitful. God's got you. Stop running from what you have been praying for. If you asked for wisdom you're going to have problems to solve. If you asked for strength you're going to struggle. If you asked for a breakthrough it will feel like you're breaking. If you asked for courage you will face giants. If you asked for an open door you'll have to let all the wrong doors close. If you asked for more faith you'll have to overcome more fear. If you asked for healing you need to get help and do the hard work. God works in mysterious ways. Sometimes we're stuck and we don't understand why. We beg God for answers and for guidance. We beg Him for people and things that we don't need. They're temporary. We beg Him for someone to love us despite all of flaws. We've already found that person. No matter what we've done, the mistakes we've made, the sins we've committed, the people we've hurt, God forgives us for everything. We don't understand why. And we know we don't deserve it. But He does it, because He truly loves us. We don't understand right now, and we have anxiety for what our future holds. But God already has it planned out for us. It's up to us to have faith in His plan for us. We have to trust Him. Your life is about to get much better. Big blessings are on the way. You are making daily decisions that are in alignment with your higher self. Big changes are taking place in your life right now that are aligning you on the path you need to be on in order to manifest your highest visions. Anything that is not meant to be will feel difficult to hold on to. Trust your intuition in these times. You are aligned to a powerful path. I promise you that it's all going to work out. Everything that you're struggling with is going to resolve itself sooner than you realize. Get ready for all the goodness that is coming your way. Type 222 if you're ready. God seen things you couldn't see and he heard conversations you did not hear. That's why he removed you from the crowd who you thought was for you. You see the disconnection was to prosper you not to hinder you. The breakup was to elevate you and not to hurt you. The fallout was not to anger you but it was to reveal and expose things to you. One of the greatest faith confessions you could ever make during tough times is, this too shall pass. Sometimes we can find ourselves stuck in those negative thoughts, feelings, and attitude when we are being pressed in a storm. But we must realize two very important things. 1. No storm can last forever. 2. God is with us in the storm, so we must not run out of faith before the storm runs out of rain. Be blessed and be encouraged. Healing is a process. Sometimes it takes longer than others. That's why I don't immediately jump and move by what people say. Your mouth is saying one thing but your heart is saying another. I watch and pray because people are fickle and double-minded. Only God can fulfill that void you're missing, not men. The enemy will have you going around this emotional cycle until you're all the way used up. There are too many broken and confused people in relationships who are oblivious to the fact that they're destroying themselves. It's a spirit of unhappiness that you need to be set free from. You don't need another relationship with men, you need a relationship with God. Let God heal you, mold you, shape you, 
and change you for his glory. God wants to give you your heart's desires. He knows you have been waiting so desperately in deep longing and inexpressible pain. He knows that sometimes your broken heart honestly cannot find the words to pray, because for so long you have been wondering whether he wants this blessing to happen for you too. In your heartache, you have been praying and trying absolutely everything that you could for as long as you can possibly remember. But beautiful soul, just because it has not happened for you yet, that doesn't mean he won't do it for you. Please don't ever lose hope, nor doubt his love for you. Because he wants to see you happy too. He has intentionally planted desires within your heart. That will bloom so beautifully in his timing. Your heavenly father doesn't want you to wait in pain. His heart aches when he sees you in despair, because he has already orchestrated this blessing so wonderfully and abundantly for you. It's only a matter of his timing. And when it finally happens for you, you will realize that it was worth every moment of the wait. Being able to listen to God and trust in his power is a major key to overcoming any obstacle you may face. When we call on God, it's important that we relinquish control and pray for what only he can do. Don't limit your prayers only to situations that don't require much divine intervention to change. Instead, make a habit of praying for big things that only God can do. Invite God to do something incredibly powerful in each situation that you bring to Him and watch God reveal the answers to overcome. If you're ready to pray a prayer that only God can answer, say this, Lord, I am praying for what only you can do. I am praying for a miracle. I know the source from which it will come. I trust in you to send me a sign. Teach me dear Lord to no wonder. If you are willing, I am waiting, ready to receive my blessing today. Amen. Drop Amen if you believe.